Hello, I wanted to update you on this canvas. Uh, this canvas was one that I've done this week and um, lots of nice comments about it. Uh, thank you very much for coming in on it, all that. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't that happy about it. Uh, I, afterwards, when, when I had some reflection time, I looked at it and I just thought, you know what? I've been really severely compromised on this canvas. What's happened is I've run out of a certain colour, basically. I've run out of the orange. I've had to compromise. Uh, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not a good enough contrast. It doesn't work the way I would have wanted it to work. And so what's happened is I've come back in on it. And now it looks like this which i hope you agree looks a lot better than the original uh i um this is the interesting thing as well right so i backgrounded in this which is uh i don't know what this color is called you know but it's the it's this dark color that you can see here, and it's all this obviously but um this dark color which is it's sort of like a really dark bluey gray that i use as a darker grey sometimes to do shadows and stuff. God, it's a good colour. It's a really great colour. And it sits on top of this uh, this light blue... What, what do they call it? They call it like a a blue light grey or something from Molo, Molotov? Yeah, Molotov. I always get Montana and Molotov mixed, mixed up. Um, so, so I used that and rinsed this there orange. Do you know what? I've never really used this before. I don't use this very much. And one of the reasons I've never used it is because I prefer to do, when I use yellows, I prefer to do, you can probably see in this arrow there and this here, I prefer to use a sort of ochre going into brown. I use that grade rather than taking it into a yellow. And what you get, actually, if you use a yellow and an orange together, is you get this lovely sort of glowy effect that I can, you know, I can bounce the light off this robot and suddenly it seems like everything's glowing. And Isa actually said to me, he said, I love that yellow that you use. The yellows uh, through the oranges to the reds, just think that's a beautiful colorway. And if and if he says it's good, then uh, then it's good. So, um, shout out to Isa. Um, what else can I tell you about this? Not much. Uh, <laughs> when I when I came, I mean, this was all a bit of a pain because I had to uh, go around all the bits and all that, but it was fine. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, redid all the green, kept exactly the same form because I was, I was happy with the form. Oh, and added this little tiny bit of bubbly here. So basically, Christopher Delaney mentioned it. You know, the composition just needed a bit of. Mm, you know, it was all about sort of encircling this thing. You know. Uh, compositionally, what you're trying to do with a piece is you're trying to draw the the viewer's eye, uh, and you sometimes you're trying to draw it from here to here, or from here to here, or here to here, or you know whatever. And what I'm doing with you here is I'm trying to take you from here, over here, round here, back here to here again, so you can start all over again. That's ideally where I want you to go with it. You can tell me if it works or not. It <laughs> doesn't always. Um, but uh, but that's ideally what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to bring you in and around. And the bubbles and all the composition of that, the sort of, the, the so you've got foreground, midground, background. And it's sort of, it's all working together, hopefully, kind of orchestrally, if you like, to to take you round the piece and round and, and round and round you go, hopefully, if it's something you like looking at. By the way, I have to say, the contrast, this is really interesting, right? Well, it is to me, and I'm hoping it is to you as well. The contrast are these colours, because I debated about what, what colour to put on here, and I thought well, I could go with greens, because I've already used green there, and it'll work, and blah, and greens would have been fine and everything, but I'm really glad I went with this orange, because... This grey, you can probably, for those of you who are used to working in colour, there's a lot of blue in this. There's a, there's a lot of blue in this grey. And blue and orange is one of the most fantastic colour combinations known to humankind. If you haven't used it yet, use it. Any form of blue and orange together, just it's just gorgeous. They offset each other perfectly, blues and oranges. So... Um, 
So I strongly encourage you to uh, to get on the blue and orange. So anyway, with that, I don't know. Uh, <coughs> I don't know if I've got anything else to tell you really. That was pretty much it. But I just wanted to update you, you know, and show you the uh, the finished version because it was quite. I just kept on looking at that before and thinking. I don't like the way the green now sits with the dark grey and the orange. I don't like now. Nah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to kill it off completely. I'm gonna have to kill that background, redo it. And what probably would have been slightly better would have been if I could have put a, a bit of a glow around the back, like push it, push a glow right into the background. But it was too much work, basically. Uh, that's not laziness. <laughs> well, maybe it is laziness, but it was just too much work. I looked at it and thought. Yeah, this is because what I'd have to do, I'd have to push because it's the background. I'd have to I'd have to do glow all around there, redo all this bit over the top once it had dried, put stuff around there. Around you can see how fiddly that would have been. It would have been really. In fact, I'm spotting a bit there that I've missed. Can you see that? I'm just suddenly spotting. This is what happens when you have to redo a lot. This is what happens. So then bubbles there slightly overlap that because I've had to go in afterwards so that needs to be redone just there see that i've got to go over that again there as far as i can tell that's all i've missed but um but anyway finito there it is it's a bit annoying that i've got the other version on instagram but at least it serves as a sort of historical record right uh, i might post this on insta as well might just do it as an insta story or something but but there it is guys the finished article and now i'm really happy with it that's going to sit like that until either somebody buys it or i decide to paint over it but this one will probably go up for sale because i really like it or certainly go into exhibition next year probably because i'm really happy with it i really like this one so anyway there you go updated and um i'll be back with more soon